I guess here we are at the uh, Icons of Darkness, and you can see right in the beginning they have this uh, Batman Returns collection. It's the Batman himself, uh, the Catwoman, and the Penguin. And to me, they look uh, very lifelike and uh, well done. I'm comparing this uh, penguin to my Nico one for scale penguin and uh, I would say it's hard to compare this thing looks really well done. And I can't believe how uh, realistic this one looks. Here is some more uh, Batman's you can see. They look pretty cool. Here is the Superman and that Wolverine. I'm gonna go closer, but he looks very cool. There's the Spider Man. Uh, Robocop. I really like this helmet. To me, look cool. And here's the Wolverine. You can see how lifelike this looks. This always looks like it's him. Here's another Batman. Here's the Joker. Another Batman, they had a bunch of Batmans here, and then to me they were all like, look really cool. And here are the Gremlins, and to me they were very, very cool. At the bottom, you can see there is like six of them. And right there you can see the gizmo, but I'm gonna go closer, the, he looked very cool and well done. Now this makes me want to collect some more gremlins in my collection. And here's the gizmo, and just look how cool this is. I can't even compare this to my Trick or Treat Studios one. And look at their eyes. Very classy and cool. They also have uh, Jurassic World, and to me, they look very cool. And the fact that it's the life size, it makes it even more cool. Here's some uh, Lord of the Rings monsters you can see. I know the boss of this guy looked very cool. I don't know if Sideshow made it or was happening, but it looks. This thing was extremely well done. And here's the Star Wars section, and they have Darth Vader. Uh, they say this is not the screen used, but it still looks pretty cool. Look how cool this uh, Dobby looks. I couldn't believe and I felt like I really want this for my collection and but it was just like the movie. And here they have some cool uh, Terminator stuff. You can see T-800 and Arnold. 
all of that. The last case, I think the coolest piece that we have in this particular section is a light cast of Arnold Schwarzenegger's face from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So that is how he looked in 1991. I really like that uh, T800 head you can see right there, the right side, and his face is super cool. And here they have some more uh, Star Wars. Behind all that, we have a Tusken Raider in the back of the Sand People. So that Tusken Raider, the outfit on the Tusken Raider is a replica, but the helmet is the actual original Tusken Raider helmet that was used by Yoko. Another life cast in the glass case here, so it's a life cast of Mark Young. Those aliens were primarily made in CG. And right here they have uh, the Mars Attacks. I don't know if you guys watched the movie. It's a pretty cool 90s. It came out in like 90, 1995, 6, I think. And this was my, maybe my third favorite section uh, in this museum. Fun fact about the worm guys actually is the language they speak in the Men in Black movies is just Jabba the Hutt's language. They didn't, they didn't ask for permission, they just started doing it. Look how cool they look. Over here we have No reason, no reason. So come on in, take a look around on your left and on your right. See who's chilling out, getting changed to their Sunday vest. And here is my first, or I would say first or second favorite uh, part in this museum. And just look how great it looks. Uh, the way they displayed it, the lighting, and use the shining. The shining, you can see how cool it looks. Uh, right over here is the pants that bring the pale man. Okay. Well done. You just want to get a good pose for it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Right here is the so tail of silence. Okay. If you guys watch this movie, I'll totally recommend. It's a perfect Hail movie. Look how great it looks. Here's the pinhead from the Hellraiser. Here is the nun. Very creepy. Looking at him directly, right here is the clown. I forgot what character from which movie is this. If you guys know, let me know in the comment down below. Right over here is the Freddy Krueger on Elm Street. Look at here, before you even enter, you can see the person in the glass. I like that they put the glass, so even before you turn, you can see who is in there. And here is the Pennywise. Like it's fine looking at this right now, but like, like that red color. Mm -hmm. This is costume from The Walking Dead. There you go. And then we've moved from sci-fi into a bit of horror. Next we're moving into horror sci-fi. So one of my favorite sentences to say in the whole exhibit is on the right we have the thing from the thing. The thing from the thing is actually um, one of the few restored pieces in the exhibit. So a lot of the stuff's in its original condition. This is actually something Rich felt that was probably torn up enough to actually feel like he needed to get restored and stuff. But here we have various bits of alien and predator history here. You even have one of the first screen you see the here on your left that was used in Alien. I like this uh, alien section they have. Very well done, like that blue gliding that they put. Yeah, I feel like the way they decorated it, very well done. Uh, you can see some predator over there. Here is another giant alien. So like how I told you all earlier that it took three people to operate Moro, is that Stan 
pumpkin head. So that is another Stan Winston creation. As well, that is the screen used pumpkin head, and it's also one that Stan is kept in his home after the filming of Pumpkin Head. Uh, Freddy Krueger from uh, the New Nightmare, as well as we have one of the original Freddy Krueger gloves from Nightmare on Elm Street Three in the glass case as well. You're the second person that said that today. Yeah, awesome. The last story I had doing was like that was the best one. Because the heroes had superpowers. <laughs> so it was like a fucking fair fight. <laughs> this is an alien uh, costume that we used for Alien 3. Take a look at another Freddy Krueger costume over there. As well as we have one of the original Jigsaw puppets that was used from Saw 2. So that is the original puppet as well as the tricycle used for I really like this uh, zombie movie. Uh, old school, first of Freddy Krueger, next to Jason Voorhees. I feel like they match perfectly together. I got this uh, awesome looking werewolf. And right here they have amazing uh, Universal Monsters, my favorite, I would say one of my favorite part in this museum also, you can see the Bride of Frankenstein, next to it is the Frankenstein monster and you can see the Bell with Pussy Dracula, the other side. And right over here they have the mummy. They do me look great and look at this uh, awesome faces. Very very cool. Uh, and creepy I like how their eyes are closed and here is another uh, mummy statue you can see. Extremely cool and lifelike. Uh, here they have some werewolf collection. Of course an American werewolf in London. Right in the bottom, hands down, that's my favorite. And this werewolf collection they have, they have the holding back there too. Here's the classic Wolfman. Uh, but to me, I'm gonna definitely pick the an American Werewolf in London werewolf. To me, that's always my favorite werewolf. You can see how cool they look. Tell me if this is not creepy. Cut that eyes. And here's the Regan. It's well done, but this one is something else. Look at that eyes. 
Very creepy. And here's the Joker from the 2019 movie. If you guys watch, great movie. And here's some uh, Game of Thrones Hellboy. Uh, I got they have a bunch of different collections. Here's the Fantastic Four. Remember, I'm watching this when I was a kid. Here's the Hellboy stuff. Look at this how uh, cool they look and lifelike, that hair. And here's a uh, mix of stuff, different movies. So cool. There's a photo collection. Up on the right, you're seven foot tall in Hollywood. It's easier to get work. Right ahead. And then we have uh, Edward Scissor Games. As well as in the corner back there, that is one of the original Brandon Lee Pro costumes from the Pro. Looking to visit the Twin Pine Mall? Well, it's just the Quinta Hills Mall, 20 miles down the road. I was just there the other day at the Route 1. Right over here, this is not the original screen used ET, but it was a copy made from the original mold of the same ET. It was one that was kept at Universal Studios for many years before it was Johnny Sands on And then we started the tour with Batman. We're ending the tour with more Batman. So on your guys' left here, we have a couple more Bill Schumacher bat suits. Batman Forever, another Crystal Dome Robin, and another Batman Returns. So this one he's actually wearing a pair of Nikes. Batman Returns, so he's actually wearing a pair of Jordans because there was an endorsement deal. 